Bricks and Minifigs is your one-stop shop for all things Lego. Hit the link below to find a store near you. I'm Eric Lowe. Oh, there we go. Um, this is like my third year here at Bricks Cascade. Um, this this year I only brought uh, stuff for the Wild West. I have a couple of buildings over there, but we got about eight people that are uh, collaborating in here. Um, three of us are like putting it together and kind of organizing everything. Um, Janine has the, the farm set up over here. Uh, she's brought in all this stuff. She's got some more stuff over there. Uh, her son, I believe, uh, made this little scene over here is from Rango. So, um, but um, most of us come in with uh, buildings that we've already prepared and we just kind of throw together a grid with the, uh, the base plates and kind of design a town. And uh, my uh, overlord, Jason, he uh, has all the base plates and the trains. Um, He's put together this lovely wild, Old West uh, sign that makes everything kind of come together and pop. And they bring them in, we set them up, and then the next day or two we start populating with plants and uh, people and give it some uh, more oomph and draw everything together. Make sure everything's working. The 9 volt's a little tricky. He had, <laughs> he had to get some spare parts to make it uh, keep running. Uh, but we've got a couple of the um, stagecoaches from the Lone Ranger that people have dropped in. Um, another gentleman has his own kind of um, uh, take on the, uh, the wagon. Uh, Janine, over the last couple of days, have been very adamant about getting this clock tower finished so we can put it in. Um, we got a couple of generic uh, buildings over there um, just to kind of fill out the space. Uh, we got... Uh, an undertaker that one gentleman brought in uh, um, just yeah. ties together really the the telegraph and train station uh, is a big highlight um, it, it looks great up there with our uh, train station I love the sand green cheese slopes for the kind of wood siding on that yeah a lot of a lot of people uh, design theirs based off the uh, the brink bricklink saloon that's over there um, Jason, our coordinator, uh, made just kind of another generic building that style next to it. Um, we only had like the pink one, pink cactuses um, uh, Jason had put together, and we only had a couple. And I went went back last night and scoured my collection for all the pieces and threw together the the blue ones and the purple ones over in the Native American area. Um, three buildings over here are uh, part of mine. This is what I brought uh, this this year. New. It's a rundown sheriff station. I kind of great interior. Kind of have I, I build interiors on all of mine. It, it's a building that people should be in. Um, there's bolt holes throughout. They you know shot up the lantern out in the front. Um, Woody and Jesse are in there because I had those. I was like, let's put them in the. Uh, I love the build of a figure that Lego came out a couple of years ago that she came with her own wanted sign. So I have hers all over the place and she's in jail. They don't use this jail uh, cell because there's a hole in it. Somebody's blown out and uh, escaped. But there's a tricky little escape plan for her to get out of the uh, hole when nobody's looking. Um, I kind of upgrade the store was my uh, first year. Uh, building and there's a lovely interior to that uh, first idea I ever had for I, I'm gonna build something for Wild West a general store is awesome how much Wild West stuff can I fit in there and look good and um, there's a lovely stairs on the back that leads up to the apartment for the owner I love the the bear rug. The bear rug I just got uh, from the the cape sellers over here. I spotted that. I was like, oh, I gotta throw that in there. It looks cool. <laughs> yeah, the interiors always add so much fun and just kind of playability to a layout. The uh, bank I made last year has a nice vault and manager's office and whatnot. I'm lacking a few figures to put in there, but uh, you know. I just really like the outsides are pretty simple. I just like uh, giving it a, a, a livable space for the, the minifigures. And with the sheriff station, I knew I wanted like a badge motif on it, and I didn't think I could do it very well, so I kind of made it destroyed. 
It's one solution. Yeah, it's one solution. But yeah, we just put it all together, popped it. Molly has the kind of uh, micro scale over there. Uh, it's supposed to be off in the distance. She also has the uh, the last four buildings over here. Uh, nice little church and schoolhouse. Um, another uh, a blacksmith and kind of another store. I love the stained glass effect. It's always fantastic. Always fantastic. Um, yeah, I'm just populated with all the Wild West figures that we could get. Um, lovely arch uh, that we've had here a couple of years. Um, the the hills are from uh, Jason, our collaborator, as well. And uh, Janine, who has the farm over there, um, she has these uh, big buildings over here. Um, it's a prairie dog mound. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. <laughs> she has it so the, uh, the prairie dogs will all pop up and down. The mechanism is a little tricky. She keeps having to fix it, and I'm not sure if the batteries run down it as well. But she's got the the horse pond and um, the bunkhouse for the soldiers. We got, we got some custom wagons and uh, buildings in the back. So, yeah, we just kind of threw it all together. We got plans to make it even more coordinated next year and uh, try to maybe put a river through it. Lego yeah. I love the bunkhouse here with the flowers out front and yeah. everything feels uh, is there an interior in there there is I, I should be able to open it up this is Janine's this is the only thing Janine builds my understanding is Wild West stuff so if we weren't here she would be wouldn't necessarily have any place to other than just generic space and so she loves having a space to put her ideas out and so it's got a huge bunkhouse oh, up I there. love that with the wood there yeah and it looks like there's even, is there lights in there too? Um, I believe she was trying to, there, that's what the, this little trap door was supposed to be up here for, was for um, something with a battery pack and lighting and stuff. And I can't remember if she actually, uh, I haven't seen it lit up, so I couldn't tell you if that's exactly what it is. Let me set this down and get to the uh, first floor. And then they're having some dinner or breakfast, I guess, with eggs and waffles. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, the lights are uh, lit up there. So um, I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard to change lighting between a removable floor. So, yeah, there's so much detail inside here, though. That's so cool to see inside it. Yeah. I mean, I I love uh, interiors. Janine seems to love interiors. I, I just don't think a build is complete without it. I mean, it's pretty easy to put up a wall and it's it's fun figuring out what little details that can go in there for the minifigures and for them to live and what they need. And so, yeah. yeah. So are there plans to continue this collaboration and are you interested if, if someone watches this and maybe wants to build some of their own oh, Western yeah. stuff? Um, my collaborator, Jason, has been um, uh, getting information so we can kind of um, connect on Discord and, and email and stuff so we can maybe do a little more cohesive um, build. And there's always been a Wild West theme here. Uh, it was a theme at one point, and then now we're kind of turning it into a collaboration. Yeah. That's super fun. So it's great to see all the different areas represented here and just the different types of buildings and landscaping. So I hope you guys continue to do more with it, and we'll look forward to seeing more next year. Well, thanks. Yeah.